As Cook opens up the planet, on the other side of the world, an American inventor is playing with fire. Bringing the scientific revolution to America, Benjamin Franklin. Innovator, entrepreneur, and America's first storm chaser. Using a child's toy to unlock one of the keys to the future. I think his role as a scientist is as important as his role as a statesman and a founder. He was the first American to make science uh, palpable and tangible to the American people because of how he spoke and wrote about it. Since the dawn of mankind, humanity has lived in fear of one of the most destructive forces in nature, lightning. Worldwide, 16 million lightning storms a year kill 24,000 people. Each strike wields the power of a ton of TNT. With a temperature of 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, five times hotter than the sun. As a journalist, Franklin knows the devastation lightning can cause. Grain stores, houses, and churches destroyed. Come and give us a hand. Only 60 years after the Salem witch trials, many still believe it's the wrath of God. But Franklin will challenge this to prove that lightning is a form of electricity. Crazy out there. And help unlock one of the keys to mankind's future. I was never before engaged in any study that so totally engrossed my attention and time. Surely the thunder of heaven is no more supernatural than the rain, hail, or sunshine of heaven. The battle between superstition and science that defines the age. Franklin was very much part of the Enlightenment. The Enlightenment was based on the idea that there are natural explanations for the phenomenon of nature. I think Franklin was finally pounding the nails into the coffin of superstition. This was at a time when lightning was still considered by many people to be God's vengeance. To test his theory, a specially adapted kite with a metal wire at the top and a metal key at the base. Let's go. All right, away you go. Let it go, let it go. An experiment that could unlock the secrets of the skies. Electrocute. Mankind, driven by a new curiosity to explain the unknown, Benjamin Franklin, in search of the secrets of lightning, helping unlock the keys to our electric world. Clouds, static electricity. You will find it streams out plentifully from the key at the approach of your knuckle. The first proof that lightning is electricity. He looked at the world differently. He wanted explanations that were rational and that made sense and couldn't be attributed to, to supernatural forces. Franklin turns his discovery into a practical invention, the world's first lightning rod. Its life-saving design virtually unchanged to this day.
from a stream of electrified air to identifying positive and negative charges, an experiment that helps unlock a new power that will transform our lives. The birth of the electric world. Light bulbs, television, air conditioning, computers. Every aspect of human life transformed. Just a little over 200 years ago, we've gone from that spot where electricity was the great unknown to a time where we can't imagine something as simple as the batteries in our cell phone. This is a relatively short period of time in the history of humanity, and yet look at what it's brought us. Those positive and negative symbols you see on the terminals are because of Franklin's discoveries. Amazing. <laughs>